I do like to drink. I've got a bit of a problem. Uh, I got really drunk last night. Was incredibly hungover today. Had another beer. Hangover went away. <laughs> Isn't that the amazing thing about booze? The thing that causes the problem is also the solution. Yeah. <laughs> I wish other problems were like that. You know, like you have sex with a girl, she gets pregnant, have sex with her again, no more baby. <laughs> Oh, man, that would be amazing, you know? Then you're guaranteed to get laid at least twice. <laughs> you know, you're talking like, whew, last night was incredible. We should do that again. Nah, I think I'm going to go home. Hey, I'm just being responsible. <laughs> I go to a lot of bars. Uh, my friend actually works at a gay bar, so I'll go there from time to time, get a free drink, maybe a compliment. <laughs> and, uh, my guy friends are blown away by this. They're like, dude, you go to gay bars? That is weird. If some gay guy ever hit on me, I don't know what I would do. How about you just not have sex with him? <laughs> Seems pretty easy. Uh, sometimes I wish I was gay. Seems pretty good, you know? Easy to hook up, couple mimosas, fix up a neighborhood. It's fantastic, you know? Uh, but, you know, do like the ladies, big fan of the gals, uh, which is weird, because when I was a kid, I hated girls. When I was like six years old, I thought girls were gross, thought they were dumb. And you know, you're allowed to hate girls as a kid, but that's really the only group a kid's allowed to hate. Because if I was a six-year-old that hated Puerto Ricans, <laughs> that would be weird. You know, if I was like, hey, mom, I hate Puerto Ricans, she would never say, oh, you'll like them one day. <laughs> All right. Hey, any Puerto Ricans here? All right. Too many. I, uh... Just kidding. Just kidding. Love Puerto Ricans. Good people. Good people. Uh, very passionate people. A lot of knives, but passionate. Very passionate. Uh, hey, I'm just telling jokes. I'm a comedian. Look, uh, look, I live in New York City, all right? If I was racist, I would be exhausted. <laughs> Let's all take it easy, huh? Um... But you guys are a great crowd. Some people get so offended by these jokes. The gay joke, the Puerto Rican joke. I got yelled at by a guy recently on the show. This guy comes up and he goes, hey, buddy, I'm gay and Puerto Rican, all right? I don't appreciate those jokes. You know how hard my life is? I was like, whoa, take it easy. How hard your life is. Dude, you have the most parades. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Race is always such a touchy issue. We're all so uncomfortable with our race these days, you know? Especially white people. We're all scared of looking racist. That's a big fear we have. Like, I was talking to one guy at my last day job, and I was like, hey, man, what's the name of that new guy on the fifth floor, the really tall black guy? And this guy goes, whoa. <laughs> I don't see color. <laughs> I was like, really? Did you really just say that? Did that really just come out of your face? You know? <laughs> So I looked this guy right in the eye, and I was like, hey, man, it's cool. I'm black. <laughs> and he was like, no, you're not. And I'm like, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, you may not be racist, but you are a liar. <laughs> Oh, boy, I'll tell you. I, uh, I was the victim of racism recently. I, I should tell you, I love Jewish women. That's my number one. Love the Jewish... Any Jewish gals here? All right, hey, shalom. Um, <laughs> love Jewish women. I, w I was actually lucky enough to date a Jewish girl for a while. We talked about getting married, and her dad made us break up because I'm not Jewish. And I was like, come on, really? Seriously? Like, I live in New York. I have curly hair. I'm circumcised. I'm a comedian. I'm like, right there. <laughs> Oh, but still, still, he was like, no, no, my daughter will only marry a Jew. I want my people to live on. I want my culture to live on. Jews are all about living on. That's when I thought, man, Jews must be really jealous of gay people. Because gay people can't even reproduce. Yet they keep popping up. <laughs> That's amazing. That's incredible. No other group can do that. It's like a superpower, you know? <laughs> you know, like, Jews are sitting around like, you got to marry a Jew, you got to marry a Jew. And gays are like... We'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks a lot.